In this video, I'll show you the example of applying the spin measurement in x direction to our states in the y direction. So briefly, this is our spin operator to measure the spin in the x direction, still written in the z basis. So again, whenever we have a matrix representation, we have to have defined the basis vectors for that vector space. This operator can be written in different bases. So this operator means measure spin in x direction. We can write it in different ways. Right now I'm writing it in the z basis, which is our normal basis. I'm going to apply it to spin up in the z direction and spin down in the z direction. So I've already copied it down, this operator, then applied to our, our vectors, our ket states in this matrix representation. So first step is to propagate through that coefficient out front. So then row, column. 0 times 1 is 0, plus 1 times 0 is also 0. Row times column, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 0 times 0 is 1. So we see here that, in fact, we haven't gotten our state back. We have gotten what looks like our spin down state. So the important thing here is that this is not an eigenvalue eigenvector situation. What that means is this is not an eigenvector for this matrix or this operator, if you want to think about it. So the quantum mechanical interpretation of this is going to be that this has somehow changed our state, that when we measure the spin in the x direction, you don't still have spin up in the z direction. You've gotten a new state. Now, how we then actually interpret what value we get and with what probability, we have to do more work for that. Right here, I'm just showing that it's effectively the process of applying the um, operator to our state and that it's not then the original, the same state we got back. So what about spin down? So now again, h bar over 2, and then row times column, 0 times 0 is 0, plus 1 times 1 is 1, row times column, 1 times 0 is 0, plus 0 times 1 is 0. So unsurprisingly, as you get a feeling for this, Again, it's not an eigenvector situation. That just to spin up in the z direction is not an eigenvector of our x direction operator. Similarly, spin down in the z direction is also not an eigenvector of our spin measurement in the x direction. And the reason we know those aren't eigenvectors is because our state has changed. So again, additional work would have to be done to actually interpret what values we would measure um, compared to what we have right here. Um, in another video, I'll go through actually some different states. Here I've been using these really simple spin up, spin down states, but we can start to look at other states and how those other states relate with our operators.